And here's a story about the power of social media, and it's one that's part of a growing trend. Atlantic Station could become smoke-free as early as next week. That would include outdoor areas like Central Park and the sidewalks. Jennifer Leslie shows us how Facebook has become a kind of ballot box for customers. With more than 27,000 fans on Facebook, managers at Atlantic Station expected a big response when they asked people to weigh in on a possible smoking ban. I'd say over two-thirds of our uh, the responses that we got were in favor of us going smoke-free, and um, we're coming up a plan to, uh, to, to head in that direction. There were some people who said no, suggesting it would hurt business. But managers say they've been considering the idea for more than a year. Under Georgia law, smoking is already a no-no in stores and any bars or restaurants that serve or employ anyone under 18. The new proposal would extend to all outdoor areas at Atlantic Station, which is private property. Is there any downside to a smoking ban? At this point, I don't, I don't think so. To maintain a family, fun, friendly environment, you know, I think there's a place for you know, smoking and making sure that maybe we separate that that activity in, um, you know, to, to specific designated areas. And just last month, the city of Norcross voted to ban smoking in public parks and sidewalks. That had an influence on Atlantic Station. They'll make the decision by week's end. And Jen tells us they're clearly leaning toward a ban. And it could start as early as next week as well.